Good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. If you hear that sound, do you hear it? It's the peacocks. They are chirping away. We've been up since the crack of dawn. We wake up early for them and we feed them and take care of them. They're very demanding. They want us with them all the time, which bodes well for us when they are older. We are headed out to do chores and I wanted to show you guys before we left all the stuff that I made. I gave away some of the apples because we had way too many and we still have way too many. We have six bags and a couple of the bags, like three of the bags, are ginormous bags. So today I plan to do a lot more baking, a lot more baking and preserving. I have been loving making the, making applesauce. So this is like a spiced applesauce. This is a regular applesauce. I'm gonna hang, I'm gonna freeze them instead of can them. It's just easier for me. And then I have a ton of cider. This is what I did today already. Actually, I did it yesterday and then I poured it, strained it today, but it's so yummy. I love it. It's perfect for um, Christmas. It's perfect for Thanksgiving. I'm super excited to have it. Um, these ones I just finished up today too, these spiced applesauce. Yeah, that one I just finished up this morning. It's so yummy. So I'm going to take all this stuff out to the freezer outside in the barn and keep it out there until I want it. I tried to put it in small servings so that when I pull it out, we don't waste any because we don't eat a ton of apple stuff. Today I want to make um, an apple coffee cake. Also plan to make some apple pies for Thanksgiving. Just a lot of apples. If anybody is local to me and they need apples for baking, let me know because I can hook you up. So this is our life now. <laughs> we have a pillow on the floor so that we can sit. The babies, we cover them up when we leave because they climb out. But they love applesauce. <laughs> actually like the applesauce. Oh, they're frustrating. They're so frustrating because they're so demanding. I actually discovered that they just want us to be with them. Like they just, they don't, do, it looks like they've been eating their food though, their crumble stuff. Anyways, they want us to be with them all the time. I'm gonna get them some more water. They're drinking water now on their own, which is really good. They're really cute. They're just really demanding. I don't know if that little guy's gonna get if his feet are gonna come around. I suspect that uh, Oops <laughs> he just did the splits. I've never seen him do that before. He does not have splay leg. He just has like Some tendon issues <laughs> Okay, listen you can drink the water from out here. Can you go get fresh water for them? When I call their names they come to me. Yeah, they love Sophie the best Go figure our goose loves me the best, so I'm just gonna go with that. Anyway, we may be doing homeschool in here today or moving them to be with us to do homeschool because they're crazy to, what are you doing? They are crazy to take care of. They really like the applesauce. I give them a little bit of applesauce. They like egg, they like cat food, kitten food. They like water. And it looks like, so did you see that it looks like they've been eating that, pecking oh. at that food? Yeah. Do you actually bring a purse to do chores? Mm -hmm. You guys can't see because I'm looking into the sun. It is glorious outside. Sam says it's cold. Ellie's excited. Well, hello. Good morning. Oh, everybody's peeing. <laughs> so easy to clean. Hello, Midget. Every morning. Hi, Ben. Hi, honey. First ones to the gate. Oh, right. So we're just talking Daddy about. And Willow love each other. We're just talking about how I don't think that that space over there we wanted to I it to work to like our old arena, but it's not big enough for four horses. They can lay down in there. They can stand up in there, but they chase each other. Penny is like. Penny chases. Penny chases them the way Storm chases. So, what was your solution, Sophie? So Sophie's what? learning like to to problem solve. This is part of homeschool. What's we your solution? Put Gracie and Honey in here. Yeah, if we put Gracie and Honey in here at night, they'd have the room that they need. And then we just open that door and just let them out. In the mornings, yeah. All right, uh, that's the deal. I think that's what we're gonna do. Maybe put some more like we could put shavings in here or put some dirt in or here. Just open that stall. And open that mm -hmm. stall even. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. So that's where I leave them. I, oh, I, I was walking over there to walk through the fence. Sam has to get this pole out, but we have to pour water on it to get it out. It's stuck in the ground. 
And today I plan to move the duck and the goose pool, which makes me sad. It's like the end of an era. Like you guys have no, well you do have ideas because I know a lot of you have struggled with losing an, a horse too. Um, but it like affects every part of your life. Like you literally, it just, like everywhere you go, you see him. But in bit happier news, I have found the perfect horse. Well, actually, Sophie found a perfect horse for her today. Perfect horse. It's a girl. She doesn't want a, a girl. And even though I think it shouldn't matter, I do understand that some people are mayor people and some people are gelding people. And for where she's at in her journey, I, I agree that it's okay that she wants a gelding. But I do worry that she's selling herself short by having like a bad mindset about mares because you can get mares that are, that are just as easy. I am still totally obsessed with this little barn. This is my favorite place to be. And I even like being down here by myself. I don't know what it's going to be like in winter when the snow starts trying to come in. Out we go. Show them how good you guys are at going out now. Uh oh. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I definitely find goats harder than horses. I have friends who have goats and they don't find them hard at all. But I'm like a worrier. And I don't take any, leave anything to chance. I gotta go outside to let the boys out. So for me, I'm like always worrying about, and goats are so much more difficult because they're picky. Horses, you just give them some hay and they eat it. Goats won't eat something if they don't like it. And come on. And like, even like you're supposed to leave them loose minerals. Like you know how the horses have like mineral blocks and stuff. You're supposed to leave loose minerals for the goats. But what I've learned is that they don't like it at all. And I had to like figure out a way to help them to get it so that it can prevent some, some issues. Literally love this goat though. Sophie and I both want him to be like, I want to bring him out and let him be a family goat because he spends all this time with the buck. And the buck is not that nice to him, obviously, for obvious reasons, I get it. It's because he is in rut. It's mating season on our farm and he just, that's all he wants to do. And so he's very territorial of his girls. Wait, come on over here, come here, come here. <laughs> but this little boy is so sweet. He has nobody to hang around with. He cries a lot because he only has the buck and the buck wants to be with, try and get through the fence with the girls. That's all he does. And this little guy can't go near the fence because he, the, the buck won't let him. So he can't like even be next to his family. I just feel really bad for him. But Sophie and I both love him. Yeah, cause you're really cute and really sweet. Yeah, cutie patootie. He's such a cute boy. That's it. That's all I have for you. That's it. Nothing else. Last a couple of days ago, I think I have it on camera. I'll have to show you guys. We were doing a nighttime, like I was filming at night. I like to do that sometimes. And he was hopping and jumping all this, all the way to the barn because he was excited to see me. What is wrong with you? <laughs> She's mad about something. I've never seen her be mad before. Anyway, that is it. That is it for right now, little guy. Maybe I'll, Sophie and I will bring him out today and try to teach him some tricks or at least just bring him along with us so he can go out and, and look for some food because there's not a lot of food in his little pasture. He only gets hay. I also, in another video, was talking about how like we want to keep some area just for the goats so that they feel safe. So it's this area here. This is for the girl goats. This is their pasture. This is like their spot. They obviously free range. They are able to wander the whole entire farm except for this little area here. The boys have that little round pen area with the shelter and they have 
this area here. Ow, stop scratching me. And then they can go in their shelter there. Whereas the girls have, <laughs> the girls have this area for hay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Where's Mocha? Oh, there she is. The little buck is just rubbing his whole head on top of me, which is why I smell like buck. Luckily, I love him and he's so sweet. Except for when he tried to ram me the other day. <laughs> and he didn't actually try and ram me like you're thinking. I was coming through the gate and he wanted out of the gate and I was between him and the girls and he was just trying to get to them. So yeah, that happened. <laughs> Sam heard me scream and thought that I ran into the rooster, but no, I'm not scared of the rooster. Come on, get up there. I also hang hay up here for the boys, just in case they want to like hang around this area and eat. There we go. Now he gets it. Come on, little girl. Come on, Ro Molly, Ruby, come. Ah. There we go. <laughs> Look where the horses are. <laughs> <gasps> oh, they make me happy. Actually, where do you know? I saw Willow way down at the bit bottom. Why is she away from them? That's really unusual. Yeah. <gasps> what the heck? Come on, Willow. I think she thought that everybody was going down there and then they stayed here. That's so awful. That makes me feel awful. Anyway, the horses are just eating up this. Like, they ate this whole area yesterday. Hot pen! Sophie's making grain. Do you remember how much she gives Storm? Yeah, two or three. Yeah, we have increased Storm's grain a little bit. We always go super, super slow when we do his grain. Let's go see the horses. All right. Uh, Willow, did you see where Willow is? No. Oh, it's so sad, Sophie. Come on, I'll show you. It's the worst thing ever. All the horses are up here. Except for Willow, she ran down to the other pasture. She didn't know that, she, nobody gave her the memo. Willow didn't get the memo. But look at, they cleaned up all the stuff. I can like get in there with my lawnmower. And, or I can at least move the rocks. But look where Willow is. Let's open is. that gate for them. You wanna do that? Yeah, Dad. Willow! Willow's like, I get, <laughs> She's I got She's like, I get it all to myself. I honestly think that she just didn't know. This is my least favorite. <laughs> field for the horses. I don't like that there's a hill here. But I think in winter they won't spend a lot of time out here. I literally found the perfect horse for Sophie. It's like a perfect horse for her. Exactly what she wants except for it's a mare. Like exactly what she wants but a mare. Would you guys do it? Oh, so maybe they just wanted to go where Willow was but they were too lazy. <laughs> to go all the way around. Or maybe they couldn't figure out how to get there. Let's take these branches with us to where dad burns everything. Now that the grass is kind of eaten down, we can see. Look, she chose me. I know. Oh, look at what's on her neck. Is it just dirt? It's a bite. A bite? Yeah, yeah I think it's time to separate them. We did our best. <laughs> oh, hello, babies. <laughs> Seeing them run around on our farm makes me so happy. The only thing that makes me sad is that we don't have more of them. Like, honest to God. I don't know how they're going to get through there, though, when they're pregnant. And <laughs> there's Ellie ready to call them all on. <laughs> Barnyard shenanigans. That goat is determined to get Ellie. Hey, leave them alone. You leave the duck and the goose alone. How bad is that bite? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the babies. <laughs> so even though I hate all, I hated all these gates. They actually do kind of serve a purpose because <sighs> it ties. They tie every field together. So now. They have access to pretty much every field, except for the field that we've turned off, closed off. So the only thing I don't like is that door there where Chino had that field to go in, that door to go in. 
because it's a small space and that's where water is. So if they go in there and storm goes in there, then somebody could get hurt. So we might end up having to close that off and make them go around to drink. Sam says we could put a water under here. Put a water right there. Really. But for winter, yeah, we could put a water we right there. Power there we yeah, that might be better. But I'll, because they always can go around, they always can go around to go in the barn if they get cold, right? Come yeah, on, I think we should close that part off. Oh, look! All right, everybody's going out. You guys know that we are going to be feeding a round bale and we're not buying one of these things here today because they cost $639. But Sam asked the question, which one of these is for horses or which one of these is good? I'm going to ask Sophie, which one's better, Sophie? You like this one? Uh, like which one do you think would be better for horses, Sam? Well, that's a cattle feeder. This is equine feeder. So this is the one for horses, so this is the one we have to get. Huge though. If you put horse in front of anything, they increase the price. $7.99 versus $6.49 for a cow one. Horses do still get hurt on them though, and it makes me nervous. So I'm not I'm not sure that this is something that we would ever buy. Oh my gosh, this is on sale. This is a new thing that we get every single time. So this is those mealworms. Or is this the same package? Oh yeah, these are the mealworms. And we're gonna try these with our, actually we should get real mealworms for the, for the pea fowl. That store literally didn't have anything that I needed. It really doesn't anymore. It doesn't even have chicken food today. But I bought some black oil sunflower seeds because they were on sale, $10 off. And then we got some mealworms, dried mealworms for the, for the pea fowl. Every time I go in the barn, I miss Gino. I always think he's gonna be there. I know, I know, it's hard. And you know what's weird for me? Walking by the dressings, like the, the vet wrap, I walked by there and the last time I was in that store, I was buying vet wrap because we still had hope. Like, it's hard, man, it's hard. We are trying another feed store. Oh, it's right here. Uh, Sam's getting more shavings. <laughs> clearance items. Oh, look, clearance items. Clearance items? All right, these are adorable. Freaking adorable for little kids. So one of my favorite things to do is to buy food for our animals. Like, I love it. I love sourcing it out, finding out which stores are cheaper. And we went to a store today, and it was way cheaper than everything else. Um, this was $10 off, and this was $3 cheaper than getting it at the tractor supply. This is chicken food. And this is something else that I've been looking for everywhere and it was $2 cheaper than local. I'm gonna unpack all this and I'm gonna make a, another video. I wanna share with you guys everything that we're doing for our goats and all the things I learned about goat health. They're so excited to get out. They're like, you're home, you're home. <laughs> the dogs, everybody's excited to see us come in. Look, did they eat some of their food? They did, didn't they? Come on, Danny. All right, so they actually stink for the first time. And I think it's because this mat is heated and they go to the bathroom on it. All right. Okay. <laughs> Come here. Try these things, drop it, and then tap. Did he eat it? He ate it. Pebbles. Just ran away flying. Is he eating it? Where we go in there? Oh my gosh, I think he ate that. Oh my goodness. Well, that's good. <laughs> These little tiny things chasing the dogs. <laughs> okay, if the dogs run from them, they're obviously going to chase them. Come here, Pebbles. He can't get over here, bag, I know. I think you got to break it up for them. I got a bunch of uh, snacks for Gabby for her school. It's literally 1 p.m. and we're just getting ready to sit down and do school now. But before we get started, um, Sylvia so got a new shirt. Let's see. Super cool. Fall colors. I love it. Do you like it? Yeah. I got a new shirt too. This is the story of my life. This is why I hate toys for dogs. But we keep buying them because... Daisy doesn't even like that. It's not even a dog toy. I know, but they rip it apart. But anyways, okay, Sophie, tell them what is happening this weekend. Um, a horse show. A horse show. So Sophie's in a horse show this weekend. And what is your standing? 
third. Sylvie is standing in third for year-end points. So if she does really well at this show, if you ride like you rode at your last lesson, you should do really well in this show. So exciting. I also saw some comments asking about Sam's surgery. Sam's having knee replacement surgery and he is having it soon. He was supposed to have it in September. But when he called to make his appointment, they gave him an option of all these different dates that he could book it for. So, Ellie's jumping up on me. So he got to choose whatever his date was. So he decided to choose for November. For your birthday. Yeah, for November. So I'll be like, <laughs> yeah, he'll be down and out for my birthday, but that's okay. I don't mind. Um, I'm just excited to have him heal. So his birth, his surgery is in November and they said that he'll be up like the next day. It'll only be 24 hours overnight and he'll be up the next or he'll be up the same day he has the surgery so yeah i will have to make a bed downstairs you guys remember when i broke my pelvis and on that recliner i had to sleep in a recliner so he might have to do the same thing because there's no way he's getting up the stairs but anyway that is it for today's video i'm gonna go and shoot another one all about our goats and tell you guys all the things i've learned all the things that i'm super excited about and we'll see you guys tomorrow don't you know that you're beautiful